Several nonprofits in Wasco are working to get residents vaccinated and tested for COVID-19. 23 ABC's Mike Lee Gooby is live in Wasco, where tomorrow's community clinic is taking place. Mike Lee. Callan organizers say that less than half of Wasco residents are vaccinated. That's why they're trying to increase that number and get people the resources that they need to fight this pandemic. I'm here now with the Wasco Council member Alex Garcia. Thanks for joining us this morning on this call this chilly and foggy morning right here in Wasco. Absolutely. It's a it's a cause worthwhile. Awesome. So what is going to be happening here tomorrow in Wasco? Yeah, absolutely. It's a it's a labor of love that's going to be going down right here tomorrow, uh, right here at the old courthouse in Wasco. We're going to surround the, our families with resources to get through this pandemic. That includes food boxes, rental and utility assistance, uh, COVID-19 testing, and most importantly, the vaccines. Pfizer, Moderna, all the bo boosters, Johnson & Johnson will be here available for our Wasco families tomorrow. And why is it important to do something like this for the communities out here? Well, uh, last fall, the, the state contract uh, state contracted site uh, left town. And so what we've been doing, working with organizations and partners to provide these pop-up services on a regular basis so that our uh, rural families and, and Wasco families can have access to these. You know, being 30 minutes away from Bakersfield, uh, it, it can be a little bit of a labor to get to these resources. And how does it help the community to have everything almost like a one stop shop right here tomorrow? Yeah, absolutely. Having this place as a one stop shop is going to be really easy for our families to find, um, be able to, to spread the word. So everyone who's watching and hears about this, they can find uh, the flyer on my Facebook and social medias. It's uh, Alex C. Garcia. Uh, you can find me on social media. Share this information with families. It's so important that families have access to this. Know that it's available. We're going to be here twice, not only tomorrow, but in a few weeks weeks as well for the second dose. Awesome, thank you. And CAPK is also giving out food boxes. So what is that going to be about? Absolutely. So CAPK Food Bank has been wonderful at providing uh, food boxes for our families. So everyone who comes and participates uh, and gets vaccinated will walk away with a food box for their family. Uh, it's still a pandemic. Food insecurity is, is, is still plaguing our community. And so it's important, like I said, that we wrap our, um, these families with as many resources as possible. Well, thank you so much for being here with us, Alex. So the resources also include N95 masks for people who need them, testing and vaccine facilities right here. It's going to be at the old courthouse in Wasco from noon to 5 p.m. tomorrow on Sunday. Live in Wasco, I'm Maithli Gobi, 23 ABC, connecting you.